Hello everybody, how are you? Welcome to uh, this super webinar about visual management for your Jira. Uh, we will try to nice the collaboration and efficiency of your teams, okay? And we will try to explain how to empower uh, users, admin and managers uh, with the best visualization management plugins, okay? Uh, welcome to this session. I am Raúl Peláez, the uh, director of Techno for Solutions. I come Mr. Adon, and here we have uh, Victoria. Hello, everybody. I'm Victoria. I'm a technical architect from Techno for, and I will be here also uh, to join the session and help you in any questions. Thank you. And let's continue. Uh, let's start. Uh, well. This is the event about visual management for your Jira, okay? And this is the agenda. We will try to do this agenda today and we will uh, um, present an, an introduction and after this, why visualization your processes is important. Uh, an introduction about Kanban combined with for Jira Cloud. An introduction about another plugin uh, that is new status colors pro for Jira and the benefits of visual management uh, and the expert tips and some expert tips for visual management success. And at, uh, at the end of the session, uh, you can ask questions uh, to us and we will do the questions and answers session. Well, let's start. Uh, uh, we are uh, presenting these plugins uh, because uh, it's important uh, for visual management to uh, enhance the visualization of the Kanban boards, okay? If you work in Kanban, uh, probably you need to combine columns, add, uh, uh, buffer columns, uh, and explicit policies, and uh, all, the, all the techniques that we use to uh, empower Kanban to the teams, okay? Uh, as you can see, we can turn your Jira uh, this is the, the, the typical board of, of Jira, okay, Jira software. And with these plugins, you can uh, enhance the visualization and, and make your uh, life uh, best and happier, okay? Introduction. Uh, we will explore the importance of visualization in your processes effectively and we will uh, discover the best plugins to achieve visual management excellence. And our goal is to enhance collaboration, improve efficiency, and empower Jira users, admins, and managers. Why visualization your processes is important because you can gain a comprehensive big picture of your processes, okay? Uh, because you can facilitate process improvement by identifying bottlenecks and inefficiencies and because you can promote transparency and shared understanding within collaborative environments. In other words, you can uh, quickly assimilate the information of your Jira, for example, within your workflow, uh, understanding and assimilating the statuses and in a quick view, in a blink, uh, of the uh, how is the workflow of your processes, okay? As you can see, we can colorize all the statuses. Uh, we can identify the blocked statuses in orange. We can identify uh, cancelled status different than green because as you know, in Jira, uh, the green is, the is for final statuses and cancelled is usually a final status and usually is in green in Jira. And with this plugin, you can see this status in red, okay? Or in, in another color. Well. Let's start with Kanban Combined with for Jira Cloud. This is our, our start plugin. Uh, let me introduce Kanban Combined with. Uh, with this plugin, you can locate work in progress at a glance, and you can leverage color codes for quick information retrieval, reducing errors, and improving the comprehension of the task statuses. Uh, in the next picture, you can see we can combine the width limit of the columns, okay? As you can see, the max in this column in progress is two and selected for development is two. We have five, uh, five tickets in both columns and we um, we exceed the uh, the maximum of the columns, okay? Uh, and th in that case, you can see maximum is four because it's the combination of these both columns. 
we can uh, combine other columns like quality assessment, ready for quality assessment or in QA. Okay, and then with this plugin, we can combine these waves and do uh, in different uh, columns in like a, a same stage. Uh, we have also flexible board views. What does it mean? Uh, we can collapse and expand columns to customize your workflow. We can achieve a customer end-to-end -end workflow. That is super important. And we can create multiple visualizations on a single board. And this is important because um, we do not uh, create another board and configure another board. We use the, the, the standard uh, Jira Kanban board of Jira software, OK? We enable this board. Uh, uh, we can create multiple visualizations, okay, and we can remove unnecessary information from the screens. The columns that are noise, noising, uh, you can remove that and you can show again when you need it. Uh, we can unify or group columns, as you see in the previous picture, and we can generate buffers within the boards. Uh, well, uh, we can keep only the columns that are interesting to you uh, because if you do, if we go to the previous uh, slide and a screenshot, you will see we have review and close columns, and this is uh, uh, and a little bit noisy for developers. And the same with backlog, and in this view, it's the same view because it's the same board, but it's reduced to do not show these extra columns. Okay, and you have different views in the same board. And it's the standard board, remember. Well, we can optimize limited screen space. What does it mean? Uh, we can prioritize essential information on laptop screens. We can scroll to access information on a smaller uh, screens. Imagine you have a laptop, the laptop has a small screen. You, you need to see a big workflow and tasks in, in a Kanban board. Uh, for this reason, we usually use a scroll, okay? And we have a, a little check that if you check the, the horizontal scroll, you can amplify a little bit the information and see better in small uh, screens. Uh, you can use car colors as an additional dimension of information. We can have advanced color coding with jQL, jQuery language. You can, for example, you can set the color uh, for for tasks that the priority is highest in super red, but see if the priority is uh, normal, you can see in, in orange, for example. And when uh, the priority changes, the color it is changed in the in the task in the car. Okay. Also, we can transition from one color to another based on specified conditions. Uh, we can focus in that way on what matters without losing control. As you see, we are using here swim lanes, and we can collapse these swim lanes and add also uh, a limit in these swim lanes. Uh, usually, we have the expedite, the most uh, important things, the most important tasks are in the first row, usually in the first swim lane. Okay, And you can focus uh, in, in an easy way in what matters, uh, these, do, these both tickets are the most important ones. We can also in a sync context with personalization. What does it mean? Well, uh, like in Trello, you can customize boards uh, with user or team backgrounds, and then you can differentiate uh, a, a different uh, between boards. Imagine you have a board for one team, team A, and another board for the team B. Well, uh, are usually um, very similar, but you can customize and add a, a special background for the team, OK? Um, it's useful for identifying the context of the moment, and it's useful to improve visual recognition and user experience. In this way, we can easily differentiate the boards of each team with a custom background, as you as you see. Uh, in this example, uh, in Spain is very typical. Uh, we we love the football, and uh, there are very important football teams like Barcelona and Madrid. And imagine we had two teams different, but uh, well, what is the the board of, of Barcelona? Is that one because it has this logo, or or the Madrid the same thing? Okay. Uh, Swim lanes for work uh, classification. Well, uh, as you see, uh, we use the, the standard swing lanes of Jira, on Jira boards, and we can identify and categorize different types of work. 
we can prioritize urgent tasks at the top, as, he, uh, as seen before, okay? And less urgent at the bottom or blocked tasks, okay? We can set the, bot uh, the block task in the middle or in, on the bottom, well, when you want. And visual indicators, we can, uh, we can add visual indicators to show the number of cars in each swing lane, as you, as you see before, and exceeding predefined, predefined limits turns the indicator red. Uh, well, what does it mean? Means uh, uh, I'm talking about this number, okay? As you see, there are the maximum is two uh, tickets in this swim lane, and are two tickets. Then it's green, but in that case, for task, uh, the limit is five, but we have nine, okay? Uh, well, uh, we can no. with color code. We can control the the swim lane. Sorry, Victoria, tell me. Yes, just to add something in here, it's interesting that we could be observing in here that we can define our whip limits per column and also per swim lane. So that's great because we are combining the columns. We have whip limits into the columns, also in the columns that are combined in here, like the development one and in the swim lane. Those are different um, numbers, different uh, definitions and metrics that we are adopting. We are using the default swim lanes that already exist into JIRA, but improving, uh, adding this possibility of defining a whip limit also to it. So the, that's exactly, exactly, Victoria. Let's continue. Uh, we are talking about swim lanes for world classification and how I can configure these limits in swim lanes. Well, in your typical board, Kanban board, you will see with uh, Kanban Combined Whip installed plugin by your Jira admin, you will see a button to configure the swim lanes whip limits, okay? And then you will see for each swim lane, uh, the limit, uh, and you can fill it and, and save. That's all, okay? You And uh, the limits will be shown in the board. More things, uh, we can add also explicit policies for clear guidelines. Uh, I'm talking about display explicit policies in the most appropriate place in the header of the columns, okay? The agile visualization of rules and norms because it's in the board, it's inside the board. And, and we can avoid explicitly mentioning uh, Kanban to accommodate all users. Imagine your team do not know nothing about Kanban, but um, uh, if, if we no mention nothing about Kanban, it's easy to understand how it works. You will need to move your, your task to the next column, okay? Well, um, the policies, as you see in this screenshot, can be configured by board admins and shared between the teams, okay? And can be edited from this header. Um, it's very useful. Uh, I think it's better than the policy of add checklist, okay? Because the checklist, the, the developers and the teams usually, um, uh, they check all always with no, no check nothing, okay? And, uh, and this that way- uh, improves since uh, gives us the idea about what do we need to, to match? What are the explicit policies that we need to match in order to move uh, an issue from one uh, column to another one, like dragging and dropping. We can confirm this. So all the users, they have access and they can see the policies. However, uh, exactly. the only people that can add new policies are the administrators from the boards. Exactly. Uh, you have some questions. Uh, remember to add the question to the chat and we will answer you. Thank you, Victoria. Uh, and that's my favorite point. Now we are compatible with Alassian Dims in dark mode. Then uh, this is for the night superheroes, okay? Uh, if, if you know, uh, exists now uh, Dims inside the Jira and you can transform Jira in a, in, in a dark mode or a light mode, okay? Uh, we will, I will show you this in the demo. And, it's time to do the, to start the demo, okay? Well, to start the demo, let me share the other tab. Uh -huh. The other tab is uh, this one. This is my Jira, it's a personal Jira. 
is uh, I'm doing a video game in my spare time. And I, I work with a team, external team, and we use Kanban, okay? And as you see, I use a Kanban combined whip to work. And uh, these, those are real tasks. And you can see here the, the toolbar of Kanban combined whip. Okay, uh, it's not in a scope to explain how it works, but you can see uh, when I click in some of the these buttons, how it um, changes or the behavior behind this. Okay, if I click in combine web, the webs are combined. Okay, if I unclick this, you will see the maximum is two, and there are two tickets, and in that in this column is not raised, and it's not exceeded the the maximum, okay, but the combined maximum yes is exceeded, okay. We can click here to uh, to collapse the double header and see only that one line. Uh, we can also see different boards in the same board because we can click here in collapse span and we can remove columns, okay, and see this view and work in this view. Uh, if we unclick collapse span, you will see the entire board, the, all the entire process end to end. But if I click again, I have the, the extra view for only the important things, okay? If I need to add a new version of this view, I can try to start again. We can reset the columns and remove uh, the noisy columns. Okay? Well. About the explicit policies, uh, it's very easy. Just click here and add your explicit policies. As you see, I can click and can add a new policy. For example, uh, 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 war uh, co-testers about a new development uh, is uh, uh, is going. Uh, save and it's, uh, as you see is shared between the users if I if other user open this board they will see the same information like me uh, the same happens when, when we are in QA we need another explicit policies are edit tables we can add the icons uh, rich text it's super super useful uh, about the team backgrounds, we have the custom backgrounds. For example, we have a background applied to this board, and it's this one. But this is my custom background. If I want to um, to add the team background, I need to go to this button and um, to board settings. And as you see here, this is the team uh, background. Okay. The, the cam is, is the yes it's the Kanban background it's not custom of me only it's for all the team about about swim lanes you see here the the button to add the limits of the swim lanes it's very easy about the colors uh, if we go back you will see there is a button to see this is the the standard colors it's white Okay, the standard colors is white and aligned with the color. This is the standard of Jira. But if you click in color, you will see full color card. Uh, it's it's more more interesting and, and easy to locate a, a ticket in this way. Also, we have a zoom. Okay, we can add a zoom. Um, uh, in, in it's interesting for small smaller screens, and it. Also, it's interesting for smaller screens, this scroll, okay? If we click in a scroll, we can see bigger the tasks and more information, okay? Uh, let's continue. With, uh, if you don't have uh, any questions, we can continue. I, I want to show you another thing more about how to combine the, how to combine the uh, columns, okay? As you see, it's, it's, a, it's a trick. You can, it's very easy. We only set this prefix, is the, the prefix is development, and we use this uh, separator, okay? And the same in the next column. And in this way, the, the plugin knows how to combine these columns. The same happens in QA and read for QA and in QA. And that's the method to combine these columns. An interesting point of view, 
you will see, uh, you, you can see now uh, the, the colors of the statuses are applied to in the board. The colors of the workflow, right? That is different from yes. the colors of the cards. Exactly, the, the colors the of the cards. Exactly. Are like inside the board that you do the configuration based exactly. on the exactly. priorities or JQLs? Depending it's the on standard the configuration of the board to set the colors of the cards. Mm -hmm. uh, in that case, it's by priorities, but you can change to, for example, for queries and add queries. And this is with a dynamic color in that case. But priorities is the same. If you change the priority of uh, of a low task to highest, we change from yellow to uh, super red. Okay. So this is the color of the entire card in the board, and exactly. the other one that you were talking is the the status of the yes, issue. Yes, exactly. As you know, in columns we map statuses of the workflow in each column, okay? and we can add more than one status in the, in a column. And this is a change for the entire instance. Right. Yes. Exactly. The colors in cards per board and the colors in workflows for the entire instance to everybody, every project. Exactly. And it needs to be done by an administrator. Exactly. Uh, we will talk about new status colors in the next slide. Okay. Uh, about the the themes, let's change the theme. Uh, this is the the new functionality of Jira Cloud to dark mode uh, to superheroes of the night. Okay. Uh, it's completely uh, integrated with Jira, as you see. Um, uh, the colors are different. Uh, it's not red, now it's blue. Uh, you can remove the color to see all in, in most, most uh, dark, uh, with most dark, okay, darkly. And if we click again in color, it's more brilliant. Uh, we can add also the theme of uh, light. The light is different than, uh, than the original. As you see, in, in, this is cyan or it's another color, it's different. Okay, the buttons are in, are in cyan, uh, it's like a soft blue. And uh, the, origi the original is the white. Okay, this is the, the original word. But uh, we have now different modes to work. Well, uh, if there is no questions, uh, we can continue with the next um, the next plugin and slides. And let me share again. The slides. Well, now I will tell you about the new status colors pro for Jira Cloud. It's, a, it's our plugin and it's super interesting, as you see, for colorized statuses. Uh, with a new status colors plot, you can unleash the power of color codes for improved uh, understanding. But it's, that is not uh, all because you can audit ticket transitions easily within the panel and you can know now the time spent in each status. And this is very useful data for all persons, okay, that use Jira. Now we can know how long tickets are spent in each status, and and we can see the colors also of these transitions. And 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 if you see this picture, it's important because cancel is in red, it's not in green, okay. And we can change the uh, the colors of the final status and the other statuses. Well, um, this plugin is amazing because it's in fully integrated with all the entire Jira, not only in Jira, because it's integrated in Confluence. You can set a list of Jira issues in a page of Confluence. And if you see the, the status, the, the status will be colorized too. Or you can go to the dashboard of Jira and in, in the dashboard, you can add a, the typical uh, two-dimensional filter uh, gadget. And you will see also if you set the status, the colors of the statuses, the same happens if you use the gadget filter results, okay? The, the colors of the statuses are, are shown. If you search for issues the same, the status is colorized. If you see the workflow, the workflow is colorized. Uh, the customer portal in Jira Service Management, uh, all is colorized with, with uh, new status colors. And of course, it's compatible with Alaskan themes with the dark mode, okay? Uh, and it's super cool. Okay, it's time to continue the, the demo. Uh, let me 
share again. And now I will show you the uh, my personal Jira. Okay. Well, let's uh, click in some column, for example, this one. I have some tasks, sorry. Uh, as you see, the linked tickets are colorized, the status. If you click in close, you can cancel, but cancel is in red. And if we go to view workflow, the workflow is also colorized. Okay? And we see in a, in, in a blink uh, the blocked statuses, the, the, the negative statuses, okay? And the waiting statuses in that case are in pink. Uh, let's go now to to uh, it's a service management project. As you see here, the same thing. Uh, I see the colors of the statuses uh, in the workflows, inside the tickets. Okay, if I go to, uh, uh, to channels, and uh, I can go to Help Center. This is the customer portal of my Jira service management. And if I go to requests, I, I have no request at this moment. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, let me add uh, that one. I can change the reporter to uh, me. Uh, that one. And uh, if I go again to the customer portal, I see, as you see, the, the status in yellow. And when I enter, the status is also we in yellow. We can see the, the portal right now. Oh. Yeah? Uh, we cannot, cannot see, see the portal. We can ah, see so, uh, Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me share the other tab. It's another tab, OK? Uh, share screen is the other tab. Is uh, this one. Well, if I go to all tickets, uh, I, you can see uh, in progress in yellow. And if I click in the ticket with the, in the customer portal, the ticket also is in yellow. If, let me share again, because I need to change the screen with this one. Okay, let's change now. Let's go to filters, advanced issue shields, and change the mode. Okay, change the mode to list view. So the issue that you, that you were showing before is the same issue that was in the portal, just yes. with a different view. Yes. So we have uh, seen the same information. Exactly. Uh, 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 let's let's change now the dim to the dark dim. Well, uh, it's fully integrated. As you see, the color is, is uh, it, it's calling us, uh, it's in progress, okay? And if we view the workflow, the workflow in, in, in darkness style is very, very easy to, to see uh, how to, to go to the final status or how to cancel or what, what is in progress. Um, as you see, it's very useful to uh, to use this plugin. In it's very uh, useful for productive uh, for teams that need to uh, enhance uh, his productivity. Okay, uh, now let's continue with the uh, Victoria. It's your turn. Yes, yeah, sure. Let me present the slides again. Okay. Okay, so right now let's just uh, um, have a brief summary about what we were talking uh, about these two plugins, how we could be uh, benef have benefits of improving our visual management. Actually, we improve the collaboration and the efficiency of the team. We enhance transparency since we use all these uh, functionalities from both plugins in order to make everything more transparent and comprehensive for the users. In this way, we identify the errors that we are we could be facing uh, really in a faster way, and we resolve it much faster as well. Uh, also, the reports, they are going to be simplified. The decision makings uh, are going to be much easier of taking, and also we are empowering users 
to manage their boards in a better way and having a better view of their projects and their activities. So to start using this uh products that we were mentioning to you you just need to install the recommended plugins into the marketplace you could start uh having benefits immediately with uh these plugins and exploring all the features and capabilities remembering to you that the plugins they are free up to 10 users in cloud so this is interesting as well and uh, right now uh let me describe to you some tips from our experts for turning, having more success with the visual management. Uh, with this best practice, we are going to leverage the visual management in Jira. The insights from the industry experts and experienced users helps us a lot. And the proven strategies shows to us that we maximize the productivity of the teams and the value of our project, projects and products uh, by using it. So. We are keeping it simple, going straightforward directly to the information that we need, being clear into the view that we are going to have in the boards. The columns are going to be much clearer since we can uh, improve our view, uh, simplifying and reducing the information that it's not important to us at the moment. So we are going to see just what it matters. And, uh, also, we are going to have visual cues in here since we are. it's quickly to understand uh, what we are, uh, the moment of our activities, since we are going to see the statues much clearer, the characteristics of each tasks are identified much faster, the whip limits that we are enabled with those plugins to adjust the whip limits in both columns and swim lanes facilitates to us a lot to have a, an easy view of our project and uh, of the board of the team. So we are going to be, uh, be fostering transparency and also updating the board much faster and easier since we are going to have a real time understanding of the work that we are doing. Can you please, please go to the next? <laughs> and also uh, by using those metrics, we are facilitating the cycle time of our uh, activities into our boards using cumulative flow diagrams and having a really uh, nicer view of our activities in both uh, get gets dashboards boards as how was mentioning before and we are having a good experience and iterations of our the cycles of our projects the phases of our projects uh, by using those visual visual improvements, visual management success into the boards. Okay. Here we are also adding to you into this presentation some resources and supports that you can find easier how to to work and improve your visual management, to access the documentation, to reach out to our support teams for assistance and guidance. You can always uh, don't please don't hesitate on reaching out to us if you need any assistance uh, and try to stay updated in the latest news into the plugins and some updates that we are doing into the visual management for Jira. We left here some links for the documentation for both data center and cloud documentations for the new status color and also Kanban combined WIP. And we have also the link to our customer support portal that you can always contact us through there as well. And finally, we can start the Q&A session. Do you have any questions? Feel free to ask. Any question? All clear. Thank you, Claudio. <laughs> OK, uh, no questions. Well, we can continue. Okay, uh, stay connected. Okay, subscribe to our uh, our newsletter for the latest industry trends and updates, and join our community forums to engage with other Jira users and experts. We have the Technosphere. Please, uh, you can uh, uh, sign up in our Technosphere, and we will notify you with the latest news of the plugins and other things in Jira. Okay. And um, 
we have a our question in the yes, chat. Yes. <laughs> ah, we have a question? Okay. Yeah, we just received okay, a question yeah. about uh, creating the policy. Can you please share the environment once again? Uh, um, your the, okay. Just okay, to okay. show how to create the explicit policy because I guess someone okay. uh, missed uh, this point. Uh, let's go to the board. Okay, and the policy. create the explicit policy is very easy. Just click here and click here, and you can edit the policy. Uh, we use icons like in Jira, and we can add info, extra info, this column about rules and norms. You just need to be one of the administrators of the board. Yes, only board admins can change this content. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, more questions? No, uh, let me share again. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Okay, uh, we can finish the presentation if there is no more questions. Uh, if you have any requests, uh, you can reach out uh, to me. Okay, I'm Raul Pelaer uh, from Techno4 and the same Victoria, you can reach us, okay? Uh, stay connected. Uh, this is the LinkedIn of Techno4 and the Twitter of Techno4 and, and, and we will share with you this uh, uh, PowerPoint uh, to all the assistants of today, okay? Uh, if you see interesting, uh, you can talk with us uh, in any moment. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you. Bye.